Um, I found out when I got a phone call from Simon, um, the guy who's organised it. Before then I hadn't heard of the initiative, I wasn't aware that it was going on. Um, so yeah, Simon gave me a call, obviously a bit surprised when I first got the call. Wondered if it was a spam phone call, to be honest. Um, I had an email <laughs> that my boss forwarded on. <laughs> no, um, yeah, he just, called, he just called me over and said, uh, sorry, you won an award that you didn't even know about. Um, or whatever it is, I didn't even know what it was. I hadn't even known about it. I knew that Sam was up for it actually, but he just said, well, I'll put you in for it as well. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I was really, I was really chuffed. I was really pleased that um, he put me up for it and recognised what I do um, and how much I put into the job. Because <laughs> it does take a lot of, you know, and you're, tr and you're trying to succeed and you're trying to do the best that you can. And it's really, nice to see that somebody's recognising the work that you do and it's really exciting opportunity all the you know the things that come with it it's great <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled <laughs> I knew nothing at all literally um, I, I think I received an email to say you've been chosen for top 30 under 30 you're gonna be in the paper today and I was like oh right okay so then I turned to Martin and said you must have had something to do with this did you and he said, I'm not saying anything. And I said, right, okay, that basically tells me that you did. But obviously, <laughs> I didn't know for sure. Um, and then that's when I started digging, what is top 30 under 30? I'd never seen it before. And then obviously I've spoken to Simon since, I've done a bit of browsing on the website and it looks like exactly what we need, to be fair. It's fantastic to recognize people for what they do, day jobs, essentially. The stuff that normally you, you go into work, you do, and then you go home and no one actually notices you've done it. There was kind of a, it was a general chat, it wasn't some big, big reveal, we were having a general chat. Um, they were praising me, the work I've done over the last 12 months, etc. I thought this is brilliant and I'm ready to leave that, <laughs> getting the praise is enough, isn't it? Um, and then they said, and for these reasons, we've put you forward and they showed me the nominations and the words, what people had said both above in line and some of the guys who worked for me. Um, it's just awesome, isn't it? Regardless of... Regardless of the award for, for everything an award brings, I don't mean to put the award in any sweep it under because it's huge, but regardless of that, to get your own company already having that opinion of you is enough, if that makes sense, because it's just, it's, yeah, it's huge. They, they took me into here and Kevin said that he wanted to um, put me forward for the 30 under 30 thing. Um, and I, I kind of cried a little bit because <laughs> I, I had convinced myself before we came into the room that I, I had done something really, really wrong. But actually, all they wanted to do was tell me that they thought I was awesome. And it's just really nice because uh, I am the most, I am so harsh on myself. Like, I, like, the little voice inside my head is just constantly telling me how much I'm messing up, how much, like, I'm really finding it difficult not to swear. <laughs> um, I have like a little voice in my head that's just constantly telling me how much I suck all the time. And then for Luke and Kevin to just completely go against that is really, really nice. Um, the idea of coming back to Hull was dismissed by everyone. I got some pretty negative feedback, you know, like, got a first class degree while you're moving back to Hull um, and I think people are too quick to assume and quick to um, dismiss Hull they think there's no jobs there if they are they're not decent high level graduate progression jobs there you know you come back to Hull if you mess up basically and I think that's something that I'm quite passionate about in wanting to change because you know I've seen a lot of people flourish in Hull why can't you have a decent career here? And the fact that they're doing the 30 under 30 highlights that to people and hopefully will incentivise a few more people to consider looking closer to home when they're looking for um, their graduate jobs or, or even straight from school jobs. That was an absolutely amazing answer. It was a bit of talking about I know, why did you whistle? That was definitely intentional, that whistling. Zip it. Um, I wasn't aware that I'd been nominated at all. Um, the first 
I knew about it was when they all started sort of hinting here and saying, if your phone rings, make sure you answer it, make sure you're courteous, you know, don't swear and sort of, you know, it's an unknown number and I started to think, you know, what's going on and have I won a, you know, holiday away or, you know, something, you know, but uh, then Simon rang me and told me and I was thrilled. Um, you know, I think it's a great, great initiative and it's really nice to be part of that 30 that's, uh, that's been selected, I think. You know, it's it's nice to hear that it's not just big businesses, it's not just small businesses. There's a huge variety of people. From what I've you know I've read in the paper and stuff, there seems to be many different business types in there that do many different things, and it's uh, really exciting. You know, that the next year we'll be out there doing workshops and you know learning from industry leaders. So really great. I remember ringing my I rang my mum on the way home. I told her, and then she got really excited. And then I thought I've only been nominated. <laughs> I've not won anything yet, so I had to quickly play it down for a while. Um, and I remember chasing, chasing the guys up at rescue just to keep finding me out an answer. And then uh, Simon rang me, yeah. So I think I was, yeah, I was, that, from that stage when I found out I was ready, I was kept checking the paper every day. My mum made sure she kept the, the cut out. <laughs> I was just really proud to be honest. I was genuinely shocked. Alan had kept it really close to his chest. I had no idea at all. And he just gave me a phone call out the blue and said to me on the phone, like, you're going to get a call tomorrow or an email um, saying that you're doing this top 30 and 30 thing. And I, honestly, was, I, was, I was really blown away. It's, it's fantastic to get recognition. Like, I, I like to think I'm quite humble and I just like doing what I do. I, I really do. I, I do this for the passion of it. Um, but to get recognition is fantastic. And, and to, to kind of have my name up there with other young people who've done really well, it, it's really cool. And, Hopefully, with these videos, we can inspire people to do something similar and, you know, take your passion, follow it, because I'm enjoying it, loving it, and yeah.